right. I thought this was an interesting topic. Uh, 13 common foods that could secretly contain insects. If the food you thought uh, of eat, or if you if the thought of eating bugs makes you squirm, you have some bad news. Uh, you have probably been chowing down on these many-legged creatures for a long time. Oh yeah. You eat an average of one to two pounds of flies, maggots, and other bugs each year without even knowing it, according to the Scientific American blog. But don't panic. They are perfectly safe to consume. In fact, the Food and Drug Administration actually permits a small number of insects and food products because it would be impossible to filter all of them out. Uh, read on, and there's like 100 products, but they just list like 13. <laughs> so let me see here. Where are the products? Okay, so chocolate. So a chocolate bar, a 4.4 ounce chocolate bar may have up to 74 insect fragments. That means that chocolate lovers may be adding nearly 6,000 pieces of bugs to their diets each year. Uh, and pasta, there's 225 insect fragments per 225 grams of pasta. It's a one to one ratio. Wait, what? One to one ratio of what now? Of a. Uh, Per gram of uh, a one one part per gram. Yeah, basically, <laughs> literally one part per gram. <laughs> um, okay. I'm just trying to like pick and choose out here. Oh, coffee! You can have uh, up to 140 thousand insect fragments per year if you drink coffee. That's a good number. Yeah. Uh, raisins. This one really freaked me out because I already look at raisins and think bugs. You know, like I'm I'm already grossed out by them. But uh, the one cup can have thirty five uh, fruit fly eggs and ten whole insects. It seems like it'd be really easy to eat fruit fly eggs because like stuff something sitting on the counter and like one day it has to have like a million eggs and then the next day they all hatch. So if you would have eaten it like the day before. That was just like straight eggs. <laughs> yeah, I don't. You know what's the worst? Wine or alcohol? Oh yeah, they love it. They, yeah, they wine love it. vinegar. Yeah, it sucks them in. Like, and, and that's now today in modern housing, you still get fruit flies in your wine. Imagine how it was like thousands of years ago when people, were, or like the Roman Empire, when people were consuming wine all the time, but it was sitting out. Yeah, well, it's alcohol, so it'll kill bacteria. God, half their drink was as fruit flies. <laughs> They're eating and drinking at the same time. <laughs> Got that extra protein. You live longer. God, just mushy wine. Pretty much as long as I don't get like one of those ones where you like open a banana and there's a tar- tarantula in there. <laughs> like I'm pretty chill with that. <laughs> you ever see anything gross like that where it's just like the whole thing is moving and you're like, that's full of bugs. <laughs> like, no. Not a fruit. No, but... <laughs> I'm not even really offended at the idea of eating trace amount of bugs, but the idea that you're probably eating like trace amounts of like mouse shit is much worse yeah. to me. Yeah, they can't get all the shit out of flour. Yeah. Yeah, so rat shit. I don't know. Uh yeah, bugs do gross me out. If I if I saw it, if if I was like in, you know, in an Asian market where it was like a delicacy, I I wouldn't be able to eat bugs. You know who it gets a lot is Roman. Like, I've, she's got a couple times, like, she really hates bugs and the idea of eating bugs. And, like, so there was one time where it came out that, like, the dye used in Starbucks, like, strawberry or something was uh, ground up bugs. Yeah. Like, that's where the food coloring came from. Like, ants or something. I forget what it is. I want to say it was, like, a beetle, but I, I don't remember. Some, uh-huh. some ground up insect, yeah, it was in the food dye. And then um, we have a specialty ice cream shop called salt and straw here in portland and so we went there and they had like all these halloween flavors and one of them was like something random like um worms or something and and she thought it was like a joke and she tried the test flavor without talking to him and it was like uh it had millworms in it so (laughs) she ate some of that it was was it millworms or grasshoppers it was something like that that, yeah Yeah, she was uh pretty out of sorts (laughs) (laughs) That's true for somebody who hates bugs so <laughs> yeah. much. How does she consume them so easily? <laughs> I've never eaten them, but I know there's places where you can get like chocolate covered ants and yeah. chocolate covered grasshoppers, things like that. I figure ant can't be that much. Yeah, I mean, they're so while. small. I don't think that would bother me. Yeah, I've eaten ants as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's not like a story. Dumbass. I don't 
remember them tasting like anything. So, yeah, like it's a. Uh, I've heard a couple times on like on TV where someone said they taste kind of maybe a little lemony, but it's like Bear Grylls and somebody else. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Bear Grylls like he eats some fucked up nasty shit, man. I mean, generally, as long as it's not a, a poisonous bug, I think they're good for you. They're just a protein, basically. And they're I, more protein. I think I'd be willing to try one of those like mealworm tacos. Man, I that doesn't sound good. Yeah, <laughs> like I could try it. That sounds horrible. I mean, a lot of people <laughs> eat it. Like, I don't know. part of me is like, maybe it's, it's got to be good. Like, somebody they know the secret. Like, is it like a South American thing that people eat? Yeah, that? they'll like fry them up, and like that'll be the meat in the taco. Oh, wow. man! The worst one. Uh, it, our mom was once eating chips <laughs> in the dark, <laughs> and she bit into one, and she bit into a stink bug. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's got to be nasty. Yeah, that that one. It, it was. That would be bad. <laughs> Did someone else in our family they they like uh, there was like a bee in their soda or something and they got stung in the mouth? Possibly, I'm sure that happens to people. Yeah, a living bee. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, that would be pretty awful. But I'm I'm more so that stink bug. Like, how did? It, how like did she said, she bit into it. It was just like. I mean, they they're, they're so bad where we're from. They they get in there, they get everywhere, and yeah, you yeah. got into this bag of chips, and she went and ate one, and it had a stink bug on it. She bit right into it. Oh, okay. yeah. There's certain seasons, certain years that are really bad. Up there. Especially like uh, if it's a bad fire year, and there's a lot of smoke. Yeah, they get driven. They get driven in in inward, and yeah, it, it's usually like you know August September. They come in and they're really bad. Mm, okay. Yeah, I, I I think when we're kids and stuff, we uh, when I was a kid, like a toddler, I heard that I, I like picked up like roaches and ate them off the ground in Texas. <laughs> a ro- yeah. roach is pretty disgusting. That is juicy. <laughs> yeah, you never know where a fucking roach is, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hey, man, you were like a brave kid, fucking <laughs> eating ants and roaches. That's no, like no, just like a, stupid that's a kid with no supervision. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> just munching on bugs. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine how horrified you'd be if you like caught your kid just eating a bug. <laughs> <laughs> how do you even catch one? <laughs> No, they were dead. Pads. Oh, ew, that's, ew, gross. that's gross. I mean, it's dead. gross either way, really. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> got a little gross. <laughs> it's like, no, no, he was dead. I found him. Mm. <laughs> Hopefully, natural causes. 